Hello everyone, welcome back to Luke's TV Talk. I'll go over some of the most recent TV episodes I've been watching. And for this episode, I'll be looking at and or episode 4 over on Disney+. Plus. But just before I get into that, I uploaded the most recent House of the Dragon episode 6 review. And also the Rings of Power episode 5. So if you're interested, go give them a watch. And also make sure to like and subscribe to keep up to date with all future uploads. Okay, so let's get into the plot of and or episode 4. With Cassian and Luthen escaping on the ship, Luthen offers Cassian a job against the Empire that will do some real good and earn him some good money as well. The Imperial Security Bureau meet and discuss issues and events in the galaxy, including the incidents on Ferex. Luthen gives Cassian what looks like a kyber crystal as a down payment. Luthen then meets his contact and adds Cassian to their plans. The person that Luthen meets isn't too fond of having a person brought on last minute, but Luthen seems to be the big honcho in this situation, so he was going to close down the operation. And because Cassian is here now, he feels a bit more confident, I think. So he's, he's letting it go on and continue because I don't think their group's too big. And I think him, including Cassian, gives him a bit more confidence. One of the Imperial security officers goes to the Primo office and relieves them all of duty while the Empire takes control. One of the security officers recognises the tech Cassian stole. So she basically goes on and says, oh, I remember this. This is from my sector. Try and get some information on it. So... She's trying to work around all this bureaucratic stuff and just get the job done. On the way to Coruscant, Luthen puts on a disguise and actually owns an antique shop. We actually see a lot of Empire squabbling in this episode between officers and people trying to get information and people holding back the information saying, oh, it's not in your sector. And it's a lot of needless squabbling in, a, in an organisation that seems to be fully in control. You think they'd work a bit better together. We meet the rest of the rebel group on the mission with Cassian. They seem to be from all walks of life there. There's some women, men, different races. There's, there's all different types of people from probably all over the galaxies. I can imagine that they're people from all different planets that have been affected by the Empire in different ways. So it shows how widespread the problem of the Empire is. Nobody likes Cassian being brought in last minute. So basically what we find out is that the plan is actually only three days away. And Cassian being brought in last minute puts all of their plans into a bit of a muddle up because they had everything planned out for their group and now they've got to include an extra person so who knows what could happen with that. Mon Mothma meets Luthen and they are working together. So what we find out is that Luthen is actually the owner of a shop and Mon Mothma goes there to buy his antiques but they go into the back away from the driver of Mon Mothma who seems to be a bit sketchy and Mon Mothma and Luthen talk about how she's getting him money and he's working behind the scenes to get a lot of the behind the scenes rebellion started and they put on like a face when they go out in public but this is their real objective to try and get behind the empire and subvert the power that they have one of the group's contacts is a member of the empire they seem to be a scout because they were on a scout a bike but i'm not too sure they don't go into too much detail about who they are cassian and the group go over the very difficult plan so they have a little <laughs> one of the members of the group built up a, a literal scale model and he's like, oh, don't make sure not to damage it. It's very light glue, which I thought was quite funny. And they go over the plan about how they're going to steal like, a freighter ship and try and get out there with all the resources they have in the base. More Imperial squabbling, and the higher-ups seem to be very overconfident. And when one of the Imperial officers says, oh, there seems to be a pattern here, the higher-ups say, oh, no, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. It just shows how much confidence, how much of a behemoth they think the Empire is that no one's going to try and stop them or get in their way. Cassian is given the plans and all the info he's going to need. So I thought it was an okay episode. After those first three, I thought this was kind of a, a build-up episode that kind of just set the plan for the rest of the season. Uh, Luthen is a good chameleon and a leader. So we get we see his real face when he's in front of Cassian and then his acting face when he's the owner of the shop and he's smiling all the time and he, he wears a wig and he's got all these nice clothes and rings. So he, he's the chameleon of the Coruscant Antiques Division maybe or something like that and then you get to see how much of a leader he is like taking control and making sure everyone knows the plan. Cassian is sceptical about the whole plan but is definitely happy with the money. So he doesn't really understand how this plan is going to work out too well but he was promised a lot of money and he's in for that mostly because he, he's not really fussed about all the rebellion and stuff but if there's money involved he de will definitely take part the team don't seem to trust cassian obviously because he's been put in last minute so they're like hmm what's this all about so they're very skeptical of his talents the primo officers got through. they were very incompetent in my mind so i can understand why the empire would throw them out and be like we're taking over now 
It's cool to see Mon Mothma. He's a returning character from Rogue One and all the other episodes. So it's good to see her coming back. And then there's a lot of setup in this episode. But it's making me look forward to the rest of the season. Because it's going to be exciting. Of Basically a heist on this Imperial base. Some of the low points of this episode. Were that this was a much slower episode than the previous three I felt like. Because obviously there's a lot of setup and we get to meet Mon Mothma. So there's a lot of reintroducing characters and we meet this whole group of rebels. So it's a lot of setup for the plans for the future. So that was kind of a, a slow point. And then uh, I don't need all the Imperial squabbling because it's not fun to watch. You'd think the Empire would have a good system down and they'd work together fine. No, there's constant squabbling. Like, oh, you're trying to climb the ladder. It's like, no, we're trying to work for the Empire and stop rebellion. But... They constantly squabble. I'm surprised this empire didn't fall apart sooner. One thing I will say about the Primor is at least they did something. They went out, tried to stop Cassian. They failed, but they tried to do something. Whereas the Empire are just like, nah, it's nothing to worry about. We'll be fine. And they look so incompetent. And when I thought of the Empire, I thought they were a well-oiled machine. But no, they just look really stupid in these moments. So I thought that was kind of weird. And I don't understand why they were squabbling so much. But yeah, that's my thoughts on the episode overall. It's definitely a slower episode. But I think that's mainly because of the build-up for the big plan that's going to happen later on. But yeah, I'm looking forward to whatever the plan goes. But yeah, that's my thoughts on this episode. Make sure to like and subscribe to keep up to date with all future uploads. And until next time, I will see you all later.